Acrophobia. It is the fear of heights. Acrophobics may have severe panic attacks or anxiety when they are in high areas, including towering buildings or bridges. Arachnophobia. It is the fear of spiders. No matter the size or kind of spider, people who have arachnophobia may feel extreme fear or panic when they come into contact with one. A number of things, such as cultural influences, evolutionary genetic characteristics, or unpleasant encounters with spiders in the past, could be the cause of this fear. Claustrophobia. It is the fear of confined spaces. Individuals suffering with claustrophobia may experience intense anxiety or panic in cramped areas like elevators, tunnels, small cars, or packed rooms. Feeling trapped or unable to get away might set off this fear, which can also be brought on by traumatic events or a tendency toward anxiety disorders. Agoraphobia. It is the fear of crowded or open areas. This phobia is the fear of being in locations or circumstances, including crowded public areas or open spaces, where it may be impossible to get away or where help may not be available. Social phobia. It, the fear of social situations. Fear of being criticized, ashamed, or embarrassed by others can cause great fear or anxiety in people with social anxiety disorder when they are in social situations and can greatly impact their abilities. Ophidiophobia. It is the fear of snakes. This phobia is characterized by a strong dislike or fear of snakes, which can include viewing pictures of snakes or even just thinking about them. Trypophobia. It the fear of irregular patterns or groups of tiny bumps or holes. When trypophobics are exposed to pictures or things that have these features, they may feel uneasy, anxious, or even panicked. Emetophobia. It is the fear of vomiting or seeing others vomit. People who suffer from emetophobia may go to considerable measures to stay clear of circumstances or stimuli that could cause them to throw up, like particular meals or being around ill people. Thanatophobia. It is the fear of passing away or dying. This phobia involves fear of what lies beyond death as well as anxiety or fear about one's own mortality or the dying process. Glossophobia. It is the fear of public speaking. Glossophobics may feel extremely nervous or panicked when they have to speak in front of a crowd, no matter how big or small. It is mainly found in introverts. Hemophobia. It is the fear of blood. An extreme fear or allergy to blood, whether it be from seeing blood, having a blood test, or even just thinking about blood, is what this phobia involves. Nyctophobia. It is the fear of the dark. When in dimly lit or gloomy situations, those who suffer from nyctophobia may feel anxious or panicked. They frequently think that something dangerous or unfamiliar is hiding in the shadows. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to like and subscribe.